Good evening for everyone. We are very glad to be here with you, even that it is virtually. And uh, I want to say hello to everyone and, and to say how glad it is good to be here. And uh, today we're going to study about the spiritual obsession, the influence of the spirits uh, in our lives, in our acts, in our thoughts. So, we're going to speak about over one uh, 50 minutes, and we have 10 minutes at the end, so you may ask questions. And whenever the connection is not good, uh, you may just hang up, raise up your hand, and uh, just let me know so we can to try to fix it, okay? Is it the sound clear? Okay. And then I would be changing the slides, so sometimes I'll go back to, to the camera and back to the slides, so you can uh, follow what we're talking about. Uh, today we are not going to speak about depression, but we're going to speak one of the eight lectures we have about depression. We to study depression, we're going to need uh, uh, several lectures, different lectures, one hour each, because it's a very wide uh, question, and we may need a lot of time to talk, to answer your doubts, uh, and so on. The first lecture is Jesus, the greatest psychiatrist ever and it's already recorded. You may watch it on YouTube. Just need to look for Nazarino Feitosa. That's my name. I'll, I'll try to, to, to show at the last slide how it is written, so it, it's, it's going to be easy to you or in my website. We have other lectures like uh, depression and the spiritual influence. When there was the first time I traveled to United Kingdom and we had the opportunity to speak and it is recorded. It's an old uh, recording, but it's, it's, it's okay. We have recorded, I guess, in America. We have talked about another lecture that is important also. It is depression, the attachment, and the studies about materialism and how to find the real richness. Uh, other lecture is self-forgiveness, happiness with no guilt, that is already recorded in Orlando. And you also may find all these lectures uh, in YouTube. And one other is the lecture Jesus and the joy of living, that you're going to find the same way. So, we have uh, another lecture, but it's not uh, translated to English, it's only in Portuguese, it's depression and mediumship. Another one, it's uh, disease, healthness, and uh, the spiritual treatment, how it can be uh, helping, he helpful, and what is the spiritual view of the spiritual treatments that we can see all over the world. And uh, there is another lecture that it's uh, the happiness working towards to the good, the happiness of helping other people. That is going to be a wonderful uh, job, a wonderful tool uh, to treat depression also. So, we are recording this lecture too. Sometimes I'll be looking toward to the camera and not to the laptop, so that's why sometimes I look uh, 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 up towards, not the straight to the camera of the laptop, because it's not very high. I'll try to put it just a little higher. So maybe we can, you, so it's, it's not going to be very strange, I, I promise you. <laughs> and I want to thank 
all, all you for coming tonight and you may write down your questions and at the end uh, Fernanda is going to give us, send us to me, so I, I, I may read and uh, or she may read and and we can try to answer all your questions, okay? So we're going to focus in one special lecture that is depression and the spiritual influence. And so we're going to study about spiritual obsession like Allan Kardec has uh, brought to us this acknowledgement in the book, Spirit's book. It is uh, published by Allan Kardec in 1857. We're going to use this other book also, the book on mediums, the mediums book, and the gospel according to spiritualism. So we are going to speak about not spiritualism, not uh, anything but the Alan Kardec spiritualism that we're going to need to study about this. I'm not sure if I have an English lecture about this, 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 this issue, but it's very important to dis distinguish where it is spiritualism and what is spiritualism. You probably have uh, heard about spiritualism by the book of Arthur Conan Doyle that wrote uh, more than 100 years ago the book The History of Spiritualism but he's speaking about medianship, he's speaking about paranormally but not exactly the spiritualism that is a kind of uh, philosophy, a, a spiritualist doctrine and it's a, a kind of science in, in the empire uh, term of, of the word that studies the origin, the nature, and the destiny of the spirits and the relationship between the man and the spirits. Okay? And uh, so this is important to us. So we're going to study about uh, the spiritual influence and how to to treat it according to a spirit's view. So I'm going to show you the slides right now. I hope you can see if any whenever you say it's okay. Whenever it's necessary to to stop me, please you may talk and uh, I'll listen to you, okay? So we're going to speak about obsession, causes, and treatment. It is uh, on the book on mediums, chapter 23, which is the title is The Obsession on Mediums. And it's very important to understand it. One of the concepts, uh, the meanings of obsession, is in the Gospel according to Spiritualism, in the chapter 28. Item 81 and other books of, on medium. So just get the gospel according to Supernatural, so it's going to help us to understand it. It is, it is the last chapter. It gives us a good reference about spiritual uh, obsession. Spiritual obsession is the persistent action that an inferior or bad spirit exists, exists over an, an individual. It may present many varied characteristics from a simple moral influence with no perceptible exterior signs to a complete organic and mental perturbation. It may obstruct all mediumship faculties. And so on, he's going to, to talk about spiritual influence. And we can see that we have, uh, may have the influence of the spirits. 
And we as spirits, we may influence other people that are alive. We can see a lot of fathers, mothers, children, and uh, wives and husbands that we, they do a, a very strong influence in our lives also. And we may be, while we are sleeping, we may, in some kind of dreams, we may uh, be in contact with another spirit, and we sometimes, we are under obsession, or we are the obsessive ones. And there are spiritual influences between disincarnated. People that is, it is not alive anymore, we in the spiritual realm that can be uh, influencing each other. But Nazareno, this is not a scientific uh, uh, idea. Well, we know that the science is it's very noble, and all the spirits will have a big respect for the science. But uh, science studies the matter, and the spiritism studies the spirit. So different objects, and we, as we are not allowed to speak about the matter, the materialistic science is not allowed to speak about the spiritual uh, world. So, but we can see in the ICD number 10 is the International Code of Disease. In the it item F44.3, the status of trance and possession disorders. So, some kinds of trance you're going to see in the next slide, they are not considered as uh, mental disorders if they are in a religious, in a cultural uh, environment, because uh, and when, when it's voluntary, the person uh, wants to, to be in trance, and they may be in contact uh, with spirits. So the, the science has already detected that this shall not be uh, treated as schizophrenia or something like that. Okay? You're going to, to go forward. Uh, the DSM number four is this, the American Psychiatrist Association. They have the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. In the fourth edition, now they are in the fifth, I didn't get uh, the update. Approved by the American Academy of Pediatrics, they speak about trans states also with the same looking, with the same uh, view. So trans states occurring in religious or cultural accepted situations is not considered a disorder. And we have uh, a physician at Sao Paulo and many others that they are studying the pineal gland. Uh, whenever I say something, especially the pronounce that is not okay, please let me know. Because sometimes I create new words, uh, words that don't exist, because my English is not good uh, as, as I we should that it to be, okay? So the epiphysis, the pineal gland, some physicians, they studied to study it. Some scholars just find out that uh, in the medians, the pineal, it creates more crystals. It's a kind of mineral that uh, along the age, the pineal gland, it, it gets covered with uh, some kind of crystal that, in, in Portuguese, it's apatita. I don't know in English the correct word. And they find out that the people that have uh, ostensive or intense mediumship, they create more crystals than person, the people that usually don't have this kind of uh, faculty that we that help us to be in contact with the spirits, even some kind of uh, relations with different people, okay? So you may look for uh, Dr. Sergio Felipe de Oliveira, 
at the USP University of Sao Paulo. You have articles and uh, uh, books written about the studies with the pineal gland, okay? So this is the ICTN-F44.3 transcend possession disorders, disorders in which there is a temporary loss of the sense of personal identity and full awareness of the surroundings. Include here only trans states that are involuntary or wanted occurring outside religious or culturally accepted situations. So this is a disorder, but it's, it is excludes the voluntary and in the cultural or religious uh, situations. Now, Zareno, and what is the, the consequence of the spiritual influences? Well, we may have physical disorders, mental disorders, fascination, uh, vampirism, that when somebody sucks our vital energy, addictions to the drugs, uh, problems in our relationships, sexual problems, depression, suicide, uh, panic attacks, and even great uh, things like wars. So we can see that many times spirits may influence ourselves. We cannot dis distinguish it it's very well because it's not always clear, but they can uh, influence a lot in our lives in this very uh, invisible, very uh, hard to distinguish influence. And when you say there is, there is spiritual obsession, you mean that there's no schizophrenia? No. Some people are born or develop some mental disorders like schizophrenia because in spiritualism we know the earth is a still a, a, a not advanced world. And we are in a kind of world that it's named by Allan Kardec. The, the proofs, uh, the trials and expiations world. So it's uh, like Jesus has told us, uh, my kingdom is not from here. In, on earth you have afflictions. You have problems, but uh, be strong, I have won the world. Something like that, isn't it? Uh, and in uh, The Missionaries of the Light, one of the books psychographed by Chico Xavier, you, it's like an automatic writing. He wrote 465 books in the three hours, in, when he was not working or helping other people, and by aromatic writing, he wrote 465 big books and very deep that he studied the spiritual world, as we can see different ones. You're going to hear about North Solar, that became even a movie, and uh, Astral City, I guess you may find it in English, uh, but it, there's already a, a a translation by the Spiritualists, the International Spiritist Council, that they have the, the translation of Nostro Lai, and they keep it the original name in Portuguese. And so in the Mission of the Flight, he, he Andrea Luis, uh, talked to us about five kind of obsessions that became physical disorders. So, we, Alan Kardec has told us also that when uh, this obsession is very long, it's for a very long of time, it may produce uh, organic lesions or disease. What is the cause, Nazarene, of, of the ob spiritual obsession? Well, we study some kinds of laws and we know about the law of cause and effect the law of, of attraction, of synchrony. And uh, we can look at the gospel according to spiritualism. Allan Kardec studies the current causes and the remote causes of the afflictions. And as 
every effect has a cause. If you cannot find the cause in this life, the cause may be in different lives because we study and we have proofs and some evidence of reincarnation. And the spirits tell us that sometimes in other lives, when we were not so good as we think we are now, we may have hurt a lot of hurts, we may have been in wars and corruption and uh, robbery and uh, a lot of problems. We may have uh, did a lot of victims. And as God respects our free will, they respect also the free will of spirits. And some of them, when they are, they, they disease of the physical body, they continue with like a, a, a crystallization of the fog. And they just think about revenge. And they be looking after us until they find us. And uh, we can see this problem. So normally it is it's an effect of what we did in the past. Of course, like Jesus has told us, because she loved it so much, her sins were forgiven. And like in Peter, he says that the charity covers the multitude of sins. So we can't change because we don't believe exactly in karma. We believe that we, our karma is dynamic. Uh, the good that, that we do today changes the spiritual programmation that we have done before okay so uh, in the spirits book in the question 459 Alan Kardec asks us it's 1019 questions and answers and Alan Kardec asks the spirit superior spirits about a very different kind of questions and very important this book saved my life because I have depression and uh, I was a taste, I didn't believe in, in God. The, the, the tra traditional religions could not explain a lot of things that I only, maybe only with reincarnation we're going to understand. And uh, in this, the, these books, the Spirits book, the Gospel according to Spiritualism, the book, the, uh, the Medium's book, they have helped me to uh, uh, go back to, to the faith after 12 years away from religion. So, in the spirits book, Alan Kardec asks us, do spirits influence all fogs and our actions? And the answer is very strange. The influence upon them is greater than you suppose, for it's very often they who direct you, they, they direct us many times, and you say, Nazarena, I have free will, what are you talking about? Yes, we have free will, but like on a radio, that we can tune to the superior fogs, emotions like joy, hope, peace, love, uh, so this will be an, an like on a like an web of fogs, that we're going to have the influence of the spirits that think in the same symphony, the same tuning. But on the other hand, if you, can, if you are uh, developing, feeding uh, f uh, feelings of depression, of hate, of angerness, of uh, envy, or so on, the low levels of vibration, we're going to be in contact with spirits that think like the same, okay? So, we have uh, one of the studies of Alan Kardec, it's on the, gospel, the, the book, uh, The Genesis, the miracles and the predictions of, of Jesus according to spiritualism. Uh, it means that anal analyze it, by Alan Kardec and the Superior Spirits. He talks about the vulgarization of mediumship. It's one item. And he, he explains 
the prophecy of Joel, which is written on uh, act of the apostles, that it, they say, the Lord says that at the end of the times, it's not at the end of the world, but at the end of this epoch, this time, uh, that is, uh, the, the, the earth is going to be no longer now as a, a proofs and as expiation uh, world, but uh, uh, a uh, re regeneration world, then I'll, sp I'll spread my spirit of all of the flesh. Your oldies, they're going to have dreams. They say that even your employers, they are going to prophetize. To prophetize, it means also to, uh, to have a kind of communication of the spirits. So the prophets, the mediumship, there's always been on earth. We have an, in different kind of religions. All the, the, the great nations in the world, we have uh, elements to know that there were mediums and with different names, because the word medium was created by Allan Kardec in, in 19th century. And uh, we're going to see that Maybe that's why there's a lot of people with some kind of disease, because at this end of the time, this planetary transition, we're going to be more sensitive to the spiritual influence. That's why maybe we have a lot of uh, depression, uh, panic attacks, syndromes, and uh, schizophrenia also because of the spiritual influence. So it may have the disease because the spiritual goal, the spiritual objective of spiritualism, the most important objective is not to heal bodies, perishable bodies, because sometimes we're going to die, we're going to, uh, to be sick again. But uh, the more important uh, uh, goal of spiritualism is to improve the moral uh, development of the humankind. That's its, its the meaning, okay? So Andrea Luis by Chico Xavier, he tells us that the physical body is like a sponge, like a, a filter that the absorbs the spiritual uh, disharmonies, the spiritual uh, disease that we may Bring in our spiritual body that Alan Kardec uh, used the, the name created in the world Pierre Spirit. Then, when we are here on, on Earth, our body works as a, a, some kind of, of drain to help us. The spiritual body so gets better, it can get better. It's okay. So, we always must be thankful to God because even the disease, they are here to help us, to develop, like depression, helping me to cure a lot of selfishness, the pride, and the, even the ateist, atheism. So we have to understand of these questions also that even the depression may, are, are here to help us also. And we have some, some a lot of good people, wonderful men and women, that even with depression, it helped them to wake up. And if we can understand what is the mean of depression, we can uh, give a huge jump in our spiritual development. Okay? So, let's go on. And how it settles? Uh, we have some kind of psychic PowerPoints. Uh, like uh, our athletes, that are the moral imperfection. It's on the book of mediums. We may have guilty feelings. That was my case. Sometimes they are unconscious, and uh, it's going to increase the depression. That's why it's very important to to that we do self forgive us. And uh, because otherwise we cannot uh, fulfill the, the commandment that love God 
and love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you don't forgive yourself, you don't love yourself. So many times, people that never say no, people that are always trying to be good, they may be carrying uh, guilty feelings. That was my case, and we can help uh, with the psychotherapist and with some time of uh, kind of religions they increase the guilt so this this part we're going to study in spiritualism that it should try to change the word guilty for responsibility because we are young spirits yet we are like in the childhood so we have the right to do mistakes but you have the duty of to repair them also, okay? So, nothing of remorse, uh, uh, greetings, but working towards the good, uh, doing the charity, uh, doing the self-knowledgement, self-enlightenment, so we're going to and, and love God, love our neighbors, and love ourselves. And uh, in the Book of Medians, in the Iranian, 228, the Spirit says that uh, among the many different uh, moral imperfections, there are like uh, doors to the influence of the bad spirits. The pride is the one that they use it more frequently because it is something that is more hard that somebody accept that, that we have, okay? Some spirits may say that drugs may open uh, some holes in our spiritual body, like Joana de Angeles by the medium and educator Givaldo Pereira Franco. Uh, we must remember that depression is not caused only by spirits. We are a bio, psych, social, spiritual, reality. So we have uh, psychology causes of depression, we may have social causes of depression, we may have the problems of mediumship that we have uh, talked before, and we have uh, some problems like uh, being uh, unemployment and you know uh, that when the mind is empty this is a room for the evil spirits and so on. We have different causes like organic causes, like not doing, uh, not working out, not uh, doing exercises uh, that we need because it's very important to our health because the body produces uh, a lot of uh, uh, endorphins and other uh, substances that are going to help to balance the levels of serotonin dopamine, nor adrenaline and other neurotransmitters that are very important to the to the health. Okay. The kinds of uh, obsession we're not going to study because we're going to need more time to speak about them. Okay. But uh, it's very uh, common we have uh, obsession when we are sleeping. So it was one of my cases. Uh, I have I had depression even I was a child. My mommy mommy used to think that I was to be deaf or autist because I or, or mute because I almost do not talk, and I used to play alone. Uh, but uh, when she never suspected I had depression. I only uh, was diagnosed around 22 years old. And uh, I have Swiss South Fox even when I was 10 years old. Life is, was gray. I could not see joy of living. I could not, I did not want to go out to date, to be with my friends. I just wanted to be in bed and to sleep, and like uh, uh, escape. And uh, one day when I became a spiritist, 
I went to the Spiritus Federation of Ceará. It's one state of Brazil. And uh, one of his directors had told me, Nazareno, are you OK? I said, I am, oh, I am OK. But as uh, uh, a matter of fact, I have depression. I use drugs. I use medication. But uh, even with the, the medication, I three or four days in a month, normally, I I'm, I'm feel terrible. I have no energy and so on. I told him, and he asked me, did you ever did, did you ever do the spiritual treatment? And what is spiritual treatment? And then he told me, the spiritual treatment is the, the inner reform, the changing of fogs and emotions by the, the moral development that we do in small groups, studying books like the Gospel according to Spiritism. We have the, the, the imposing hands at the end, like Jesus used to do, that we know as healing, and other uh, passi in Portuguese. And we have uh, the help of the, the, the medium, uh, the, the medium next uh, meeting, that we may talk to the spirits, may try to help them. You're not going to be there because it's, uh, it's not good that the person that is on treatment, we, we are going to, to talk to the spirits and see if there's a spiritual influence around you. I said, OK. I started to do the treatment because it's not enough just to send away the bad spirits like Jesus has told us. He says, like in a parable, that when the, a bad spirit uh, is, is taken away, then he walks on the desert. And when he realizes that his old house is clean and it's all right, then he comes back, bringing seven evil spirits weaker than him. So, uh, beyond the spiritual uh, disobsession, we need to change our thoughts, our feelings. So it's going to help very long to be very well, to be in a, in a better uh, state of healthiness, uh, in, in this, especially about the spiritual influence. Okay. And uh, it was very strange because uh, after the first meeting, they did four meetings at that time, I could sleep with no, no medication because I only could sleep using ansiolytics. And uh, one day he told, told me, uh, one of the problems that they they could di diagnose in the spirit the, in the Medinix, uh meeting, and he told me Nazareno, one of the uh, biggest problems you had were a kind were of uh, a problem with a girl in another life. She told us she was your lover, and uh, you have hurt her a lot and uh, during the sleep she took you our spirit no? that it us we have a body so he takes you to erotic regions in the spiritual world you stay all night long uh, uh, having uh, intimate relations you know having sex and uh, she sucks your vi uh, spiritual uh, energy, your vital energy. And after he said that, I said, how strange is this, uh, Mr. Monteiro, what is his name? Because my depression is, is in the morning. In the afternoon, I get better, and at night, I, I'm so much better that sometimes I think that it's a kind of laziness because uh, it's especially in the morning. 
and I don't remember my dreams, but when I do remember, they are erotic dreams. So, see how strange is this? Uh, Nazareno uh, was all night long having a date and uh, used to wake up completely out of energy. So, after four uh, meetings, there was a lot of problems and it was not enough. We had done the spiritual treatment uh, many times before to help us and, and the family and so on. And uh, I was so much better that the, my psychiatrist said, Nazareno, let's try to, to, to stop the medication. And I did stop. And I was four years with using no medication. But when I moved to Brasilia, I was away from my parents, away from my best friends. I was away from the uh, sea, the beaches of, of Ceará. They are very beautiful. Like in every world, we have wonderful places. And I uh, was uh, being romantic again, because I don't say I'm depressive. I say that I'm romantic, because we have found out that it's the same thing. A lot of poets, a lot of uh, uh, writers, uh, singers, uh, composers, and uh, a lot of people that they used to be uh, called uh, romantic. As a matter of fact, they have problems of depression and so on. And then in Brasilia, the good spirits told us to go back to the spiritual treatment and go back to the to the to the treatment the, uh, with medication. And so we never say to people that they stop using the medication because the medication is going to help us treating the effects. But we need to treat the cause also. And the cause is in the immoral spirit that we are. But while we have the facts, use it. All, uh, everything that you can see that it's good, so sometimes you need to change the medication and so on. But we need to exercise, we need to uh, have develop motivation. A psychotherapy is going to help us very much because it's a very good way to do the uh, self-knowledge and so on. But while you have the fact, tell everyone to keep using the medication until if it is okay, you're going to be released of the depression. If you have a, a reason to be depressive, like uh, when somebody passes away, that someone, someone that you love goes away, or uh, if you would find out that you have a, a very uh, uh, big problem or a, a disease, you're going to be naturally uh, with depression. But it, if the, f the cause, it, it, it's, it's, go it's gone, the effect is gone also. So this is very easy kind of depression to treat because it's the reactive depression. But some people, they, we don't need reasons to be depressive, to be romantic. And then these cases, normally the person we're going to need to use the medication that is a gift from God because he helps, he inspires the, the demands of the science to bring us relief to the humankind, okay? Uh, we're going just to, we have uh, just some slides about the, the spiritual treatment and uh, we have the opportunity of questions. If you have questions, I can stop now, try to answer the questions because uh, our time is almost almost gone. What do you, do you prefer? There is one question here. OK. 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 They are asking if uh, to, f to end a cycle of obsession is enough just to forgive. No, normally it's not enough to forgive. The spirit needs us to, f to forgive us. We're going to see in our slides uh, some kind of the treatment of, of spiritual obsession. And uh, one case you can help the spirit if, if you have a, 
on your church and in your temple. The spirits are going to help because you're going to change your uh, tuning. And uh, whenever you do the charity, let's just talk about Devaldo Franco. Devaldo Franco had the problem of spiritual obsession for 40 years. And uh, even with all the good that he does, with help, even helping a thousand of children, uh, old people and uh, sick people in Bahia, even writing more than 200 books and in um, aromatic writing and uh, the, the disseminating spiritism around the world, he could see a spirit that even he was eight, he was uh, against him. He could see the spirit and he said it was very good because he was like a god. He, he devoted it needs to be always, needed to be always uh, violent, vigilant. It's be always watching out his fogs, like Jesus has told us, right? Watch out and pray so you are not going to fear, fall on uh, falling temptation. So he said that it was good for an instance. And one day, when he was in this uh, institution, the Man Mansão do Caminho in Salvador, uh, somebody uh, left behind uh, a box. And inside it, there was a, a very small child, just uh, born. And uh, one of the children of the Valdo, he has adult uh, sons, which was a doctor, said, uh, Uncle Devaldo, we, we have no room for her. We, we cannot help this, this, this baby. We need to send it to another hospital and said, no, we're going to try to help them. In that moment that he embraced the children and uh, the spirit that after 40 years persecuting the father appeared and started to cry. And he said, the father, now I cannot persecute you anymore. Because this baby that you hold in your arms was my mother in the last reincarnation. So we're going to, and became a, a, a friend of the Valdo, changed completely his life, was born again uh, as, as a son of one of the, the ladies, that, that lady, that old mother, she grew up and she had a child and the baby was the spirit that didn't like the Valdo because they have problems in the past. And uh, we can see that the divine providence, they uh, move towards to us the opportunities to help other people. That sometimes we think it's by the chance. We think, oh, no, but, but it's, we believe there's nothing is by the chance. So uh, helping the others, is going to be one of the best ways to change this this problem of uh, of uh, spiritual obsession. Okay, just, so just uh, to show some slides to finish, it's going to be very quick. I I don't have uh, uh, we used to say that our spiritual obsessions they are like our personal trainers. They help us to develop the, the love, the forgiveness, the patience, the goodwill, the faith, and the hope to help us to go to religions. And so uh, they are like our tutors. And where is the treatment? Oh, the treatment, God, Jesus, as a matter of fact, has, has told us, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Do good to those who wish you harm. We have the other. Tune in and pray, what I said. Watch and pray. Uh, work, good readings, edifying talks, activities. And we know the efficacy, efficacy, 
efficacy of prayer. It is a scientific matter now. They have statistics, statistics, studies proving that some people that receive prayers, even they don't know about it, they get better quicker than the other patients that don't receive prayers and so on. It is, it's something that is being studied like meditation and many other uh, questions. In the Reformation, like we said, charity, because her many sins were forgiven because she loved us so much. Study, when we know the truth, and the truth you set you free, has taught us Jesus. In the Book of Medians, we have some recommendations. The first one, patience. Because some spirits, when they see that we are very angry, very disturbed with the spiritual influence, they uh, are very they, they are very pleased to, to disturb us. But if they see that we have resignation, that we are uh, being patient, and uh, we're not going to take out our hairs, <laughs> then they, some of them say, oh, I'm, I'm going to find somebody else to, to, to do this. So to practice the good, the, the Book of Medians is that the most efficacious way to keep off the bad spirits is the practice of the good. Because when we are practicing the good, we attract the superior spirits. And uh, the presence of them is that help to keep away the, the spirits that are not happy. So. It's very important. When you do share it, we think that we're doing like a favor of someone. But we are the first ones to receive the company of the, the good spirits. And as we do the good, like Jesus has told us, according to everyone, uh, according to his deeds, we are going to have credits to be helped by our brothers in the spiritual world. So the... We're trying to evangel evangelize, to talk about the, the gospel. We should do the study of the gospel and at home. The Federação, Federação Espírita Brasileira, they have a, a, some uh, that you can do in your home, uh, half an hour a, a week, just studying the gospel according to spiritism, or even the gospels, uh, Matthew, Luke, Mark, or John, especially the first three and to talk about that, to pray, and in that moment, good spirits will be uh, in our home. They are going to help us to protect this, this place, and they are going to help the spirits that maybe are in a home that could not see the good spirits because in a very low vibration. But uh, after that studies, then the prayers, the presence of the good spirits, they can see them and they may they may, may be taken to the goods uh, to the superior uh, uh, regions of the spiritual world that way they may uh, find the family or the spiritual friends that everyone has okay uh, so we have the job session the pro it should be private meetings uh, the passes the healing and uh, self-forgiveness is going to be very important psychotherapist and uh, inner reformation and prayer so remember this uh, the love the charity covers a multitude of sins and Alan Kardec tells us that there is the one cause of almost all of our immoral imperfections. It's in the book Genesis, not the Bible called Genesis, but the Genesis according to Spiritism. In the chapter 3, item 10, and they say that the cause of the obsession are the immoral imperfections, and the, the greatest cause of immoral imperfections is 
the instinct of self-preservation. Then we would need more 10 minutes to speak about that. But this is thing that is very prevalent. It's very uh, present in our lives, even today. They, especially the fear, they help us to develop the selfishness because we have a lot of fear of, of not be accepted, not be, to be loved by our parents. And we, they, as they like people who have money, they normally, they, uh, we develop more selfishness, we more, uh, I'm sorry, okay, that's okay. We develop uh, envy and other things. We, ha we develop anxiety because it's fear of the future. We develop uh, envy because somebody who brights very much, it's a um, kind of treat for us because they made us think that we are short, that we are fat, that we are not handsome as them, and, and many other problems that it's a consequence of the, the stink of self-preservation, especially fear. Geraldo Campetti has a book in Portuguese. I am not sure that it's translated to English. It's how to speak public uh, <laughs> with no problems of passing away <laughs> during the presentation. And it's very interesting. And he does a very deep study of the fear. And in the spiritual cologne that is described in the book Nostolar, Andre Luis, when the Second World War has, ha, is being announced, the superior spirits tell him, Andre, now we're going to study about the fear, the terror. And one day, the humankind will know how important is this. So, I want to thank you so much. And we're going to be open for other meetings. And we can send uh, your questions in, adv in, advantage, in advantage so it can help us to, to develop this time or other times that you be interested, okay? Thank you. And remember, this is being recorded. I, 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 it, the video will be available in YouTube and in, in, in our website. I'm going to, to just show to you my website while you uh, do the final prayer, okay? Okay, uh, because in, in the slides, yeah, in the slides, uh, I'm talking about a, a citation of Allan Kardec that when he studies about subjugation, subjugation is uh, the grave, the, the grave, it's the, the problem of obsession, which when somebody is it's completely taken about uh, 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 because of uh, a bad spirit. So those causes of uh, uh, deep depression and many others. And uh, he say he tell us in the book on mediums that in these cases of subjugation, the the patients patient normally has lack of vital fluid. So if you have a, a good magnetizer or a good uh, person that can be uh, uh, to help with, with healings of passes, you're going to be it's going to be very useful to the patients. Okay, so in some kind of depression, we are going to use uh, to to recommend passes more often for the person. Or some uh, some say there are special techniques to help uh, the person. When we are sick, when we are very depressive, we have lack of fluid, some say that we should not be uh, given passes to impose in our hands because uh, we sh could be even weaker. But we know also that, uh, that God always provides us. Whenever we give, we, we, God help us to receive ours. So 
Uh, th there's some question that we will need more time to study, okay? But uh, just remember that, like Jesus has told us, it isn't in written, you, you are God's. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these. You are the salt of the earth, the, the light of the earth, the east in the dove. Let your light shine. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so, they, so that may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. It is Matthew 5.16. So Jesus uh, invited us to, to do even greater things that he does because he knows that we are more spirits, that we are developing. As a good shepherd, he shows the right way that, used to, that we should use to find uh, the redemption. Okay? So this is my website, nazarenofeitosa.com.br. You can watch my lectures in tvcei.com. Now, it, now it's uh, uh, febtv, febtv.com.br, or in YouTube. Just look for Nazareno Feitosa, and you'll find my even the, all those lectures that I've told you in English, as well as in Portuguese. There are hundreds of lectures in Portuguese. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm the one who who want to say thank you. And uh, whenever you uh, are, are doing this broadcast, and we can have more times for the questions and answers. If it's if it's okay, we can ask you to watch some some of my lectures or different speakers speakers and uh, or some some kind of lesson. And then I will be here with you just to, to answer your questions so it can be even more useful for you. Isn't it? I, I think that you have a lot of questions, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I think that can be uh, a great thing to have something like that we can answer and address the first question. Yes, and uh, I want to to say, uh, to send hugs and, and for all of you to Vanusa and to our friends in Singapore and to say uh, it was a pleasure to be with you. So whenever it's necessary, count on me because I like to record uh, English lectures. So it's going to be always very good for me, okay? Thank you very much. Have a very nice day. Okay. Have a, a, a good night and, and God blesses all of us. Thank you so much.